if, if I'm tossed out of the church because I'm a true believer in Jesus Christ, I think uh, I think I, we should be evaluated by our actions in that regard and not whether we accept all of what Joseph Smith had to say. And by, uh, by tossing me from the church, should they do that, they're really... Uh, forbidding me to take the sacrament on Sunday, which in a strange way subordinates uh, Jesus to Joseph Smith, in my view, and to the outside world, uh, it really asks the question, are Mormons really Christian? Or, or, or are they as Christian as we've been hearing they're saying they are? And, and um, I, th- I think that's a sad state of affairs when they is there room in the Church of Jesus Christ for someone who's morally and spiritually centered in Christ? Uh, I hope so. According to the sacrament prayers, and uh, the tendency is as we drop his name, we do sing about him. We uh, use his name, invoke it in prayer. But when it comes to the preaching, uh, there's, there's not much about Jesus Christ in the worship service. And then if you move to the Sunday school, it's, it's much the same way. Uh, once every four years, we talk about the... Uh, a life and ministry of Jesus, maybe four months out of out of the year, and then move on to the epistles. Uh, but that's just once every four years. And then in the uh, Priesthood Relief Society lessons for adults, uh, of the, the last eight years they've been uh, studying modern prophets two to three weeks a month. And uh, I counted up those lessons. I think there's 192 of them. And maybe 20 of them directly relate to Jesus Christ. So the three-hour experience at church is, is uh, I'd like to see more emphasis on, on Jesus Christ at the local level. I, th- I think at the general level, that, that, is, um, that is certainly uh, not as much a problem. But at the local level where, we all, where I go to church uh, and, and throughout my life where I've gone to church, I think we need uh, a shift, especially now with some of the problems in our history. Well, it sounds like, to some people, it could sound like what you're looking for is a more mainstreamed Christian church or experience in Christianity. Well, I think uh, the church is uh, certainly making overtures to mainstream Christianity. Uh, We had a speaker in the tabernacle for the first time, 160, 106 years. We understand a chair is being set up at Claremont uh, Theological uh, college in California. There's a Thursday night uh, program on uh, Channel 20 here locally that uh, that invites LDS and Protestant pastors to discuss areas of unity and uh, understanding and so forth. Uh, I, I I I hope and I think the church is uh, moving in that direction. I think it's a very healthy one, but I just like to see more Jesus Christ in the in the experience. Mormon Church have had to deal with dissent and have have factions within their religions that disagree with the party line and openly disagree mm-hmm. and they aren't thrown out. I mean, it's, it's, some of this has to do with such a young religion trying to maintain its power and its central point. Well, I don't know that, but uh, you're right. I mean, Notre Dame, a Catholic university, accommodates uh, uh, a, a great variety of thought. The, the, Professors feel safe, much safer than the ones at BYU that I've talked to, and uh, it just—I guess there's a certain amount of a learning curve here. Yes, president, and at that time, basically told either I keep my mouth shut or I would lose my membership in the church to protect the good name of the church, and I chose to resign rather to do that. And at that point, I have found. Uh, my uh, my family fall apart. My wife leave me. Uh, a couple of my children not talking to me. So it, it's put me in a very very s- difficult situation in standing out for what I believe was true. Wow. That and that's you know I have to say that's a story I hear from people that it's a very painful. Oh, uh, you know I, I could not sleep for weeks yeah. after I discovered in regards to. Primarily, it, it was the, the, the uh, uh, history of, of Joseph Smith with um, being married and, and sealed to married, previously married women who, who continued to have husbands. Now, that, that just struck a chord to me, saying, hold on, this isn't what I was taught. And again, as I 
uh, as I peeled apart the onion and tried to find out more and more, the, the more disturbed I, I became and, and concerned that this history isn't out there. And I have for you is, is, is how are you treated from uh, other members in, within your ward and your stake? Because I found once I started questioning that there, there was very much a standoff um, and, and almost uh, people were and continue to be very, very afraid to even communicate or talk with you. Uh, that I think that's uh, pretty much true. A lot of them will, you know, smile and shake your hand, but there's no uh, there's no lingering discussions for, for with most of them. Although they're very good people in my word, and I, I did bear my testimony once about Jesus Christ, and that afterward the bishop told me that some members thought I was a hypocrite because I didn't uh, because I'd written this book, and even though I'd spoken of Christ, they thought that was hypocritical. Well, and certainly the gossip goes with that, too, as, I, as I've had my good name um, really slandered by people making comments like that and, and, and back through my family and my children, and mm -hmm. I find it very, very difficult. Um, and again, uh, as you say, that, that handshake and smile, but otherwise behind your back, you know that there's a lot being said. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, and the trend has been in the in the local wards to uh, if you raise questions, uh, you're suspect. Uh, these questions are often viewed as inappropriate. 